I will record again. Welcome back. So, where's your drawing? Uh, draw, still drawing. <laughs> not, sh not sure, <laughs> but I'll try. <laughs> yes, trying is good. <laughs> Maybe you should try faster. Yeah, it's a simple question. Just draw the energy band diagram. Zero by yourself. Uh, how should it go afterwards? So you can't remember how to go zero bias. It means that the Fermi level is continuous. Yes, Iman? Eh, Iman pula tamana. Only the band caps will be different on two sides. Otherwise, the Fermi level is continuous. Yes, have you drawn it? Uh, I sent the picture. I don't know. Okay, Iman, where's your video? Alam, you see video? It? Yeah, I cannot see your video. You... Hey, oh, okay. Ah, uh, wait. Alam, you still not clear? So, one. So, um, this is for the zero bias, I think, if you can see. I can see for why, Tamana, you make it like. <laughs> That you didn't make it like horizontal. Horizontal. You're torturing, you're torturing me. So I need should, should, should I post this in WhatsApp or uh, post it in this, the WhatsApp? So I don't know, post it in WhatsApp, maybe it's clearer in WhatsApp. Because using the video and the camera, it does mm, okay. I can see Tamana's drawing. Where's uh, Iman's drawing? You can just snap a photo, send it to. Uh, Alam, you have questions? Uh, yes. Alam, you have question? Not sure. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So. So, but uh, we we say the the eye region is intrinsic, right? Yes. So where's the intrinsic Fermi level should be? The Fermi level should be in the middle. Yeah, so if you look at your drawing, is it in the middle? No, so it should be in the middle. Okay. I, oh, okay. Should I redraw it again while we wait? Yes. So you can see by one drawing, it tells us a lot of things because you need to be able to read the energy band diagram. So I can give you any energy energy band diagram, you know it's homo junction, hetero junction, uh, what's the, is it intrinsic or P or N, just by looking at the diagram. Okay, let me share my iPad again. So, have you drawn the, so Tamana, the drawing, yes, your sir. drawing is wrong, uh, Iman's yes. drawing is right because you have, you should have to have three rigid, <coughs> so you need to have a P, the I and the N, so like, uh, yes. similar like what Iman's drawing, but the problem with Iman's drawing here is the Fermi level. Have you sent a new drawing, Iman? Uh, I, I, I'm sending it now. Uh, 
Fermi level dotted lines should be in the middle for I junction. I stands for intrinsic. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to, sh to capture this and share it to my. Uh, how do I crop? Uh, Madam, I can't see your iPad. You see now? Yes, we okay. can. So this is your photo, right? Yes. yes. Uh, so you can see. Yeah, so you have the P. Go control. So I cannot control. So you can, you have a P, you have the I and you have the N. So the P, Iman, Iman has taken a picture that crops the, <laughs> the, 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 the energy over here. And then it's, this is 2.3, 2. right? So, yes, so in, in the exam, you need to draw relatively. If I can see here, your 1.5 EV and your 2.3 EV is very close. It doesn't make sense, right? So this should be much smaller. Oh, I see. So you see, so when you draw, you need to be careful because it should make sense. Although you put the, uh, the I'll give you marks, but uh, the uh, over here, the what do you call it? The the the, yeah. the end gap should be smaller, much smaller than two point three. So, but the the good thing is here you can see the zero bias. The Fermi level is continuous, and then you have the three regions. Uh, energy band diagram so you have 2.3 and you have the 1.2 and you have the 1.5 okay that's good so this is zero bias okay now can you draw me the fault bias
Have you done that? I think we lost alarm. Should be different. Uh, for me, let me will it be discontinuous? Uh, yes, because it's forward bias. The end side should be higher than the P side, right? Yes, sir. And in the intrinsic region? Mm -hmm. So, in the, the, the in intrinsic, you, you just connect the two. Oh. Oh, so so it should be diagonal then. Mm. I that and N should be higher than P. N should be higher than P. Yes, N should be higher than P. Can finish. Fermi level. On and side should be higher than P side. Uh, the Fermi level in I should connect the two diagonally. So we can hear Iman's thought now. <laughs> It's easier for Anna said. Uh, Alam to and me to to rewatch later. To re uh, Tamana, where's your drawing? Ma'am, I have sent it, but it looks very. I don't know. <laughs> Why are you your why can't you make it horizontal, Tamana? It's difficult for me to see. Can you see? I made horizontal. I'll click on next picture one more. Uh. Um Madam. Yes. Uh quick question. Should the depletion region between uh, is uh, does the depletion region between the P and I and N junctions should they always be like downwards diagonal? It depends on the bias, right? If it's forward or reverse bias, I probably didn't uh, didn't write that down before. Uh, normally we don't draw the normally we don't draw the Fermi level in the depletion region, so you don't have to draw. That's not because actually it can be many weird things happens in the depletion region. That's why normally we draw we are, we are what what we know for like uh, relatively sure is the P and N Fermi level. Normally we left the Fermi level of the depletion region. We don't draw. If you want to draw, then you can draw it. Um, Con upper, linking the two together but it's not maybe it won't be necessarily true hmm. okay let's so I, I will stop sharing let's see this uh, Tamana's drawing so, how do I share this share. Okay, so let's see. This is Tamana's drawing, right? Mm, so this for bias. Okay. 
So, Iman, can you tell me what's wrong in Tamana's drawing here? Um, the sizes between the two. Yes. So your two point three, uh, your two point four, and one point five is very like the same. Okay. <laughs> then what else? <laughs> so so, um, what else? Um. I well, other than that, I'm not sure. I I don't see anything wrong because oh. I'm not sure. Okay, so yeah, uh, normally the if if you draw, if you if you're familiar of looking at the drawing of forward bias, you will see that the end is not very much. It's not this high. The the Fermi level uh, at the end side is not that high. Normally, it's only slightly above. Uh, that's normally. So then the electron will go over here from there. Okay, then the rest is okay. Now, uh, let, okay, let's go back to my drawing. If you see, if you, if you, if you see here, I will share my iPad again. Okay, so normally if you read textbooks, right, when they draw hetero junction, they will draw like what I draw here in my iPad here. So it, it will they will draw the intrinsic. So from here, you can clearly see why the efficiency is higher. So, so you have the, you have a, normally if you do a hetero junction, it will be a sandwich. Okay, sandwich. What does it mean? Means uh, two large band gap sandwiched by a smaller band gap. Okay, and normally what we do is, we, because you know, it's, uh, we can do like what Iman do. So instead of the, using the P and the N, the same uh, material, they use a different material, it can. But the problem is uh, in terms of when you do it in real life, when you grow it, it's difficult. You need to handle three different materials. The aim is just to make this uh, sandwich. Okay, the aim is so that we can have a low, uh, in the middle, we can have a, we can have a low band gap material. So you have like a, you have like a, this, uh, like a, this, what do you call it? This hole over here. That's the aim. Where? Why? So why that's important? Because if you have electron here, when you have electron there, the electron will then fall into this. Uh, when you have when it diffuse, the electron will later uh, fall into this. Uh, what do you call it? Um, material, the low band gap material, and it will trap over there. When it traps, the hole also the same, the hole will also diffuse and also trap inside this uh, at low energy, uh, low band gap uh, material, and it means that more efficient, all the electron and hole can recombine over there and it'll be faster because the electron will not move, uh, the electron will not move everywhere. So the electron won't have to move okay. in and there. So we'll just. Uh, uh, hmm? Yes, Iman. No, nothing. I just I, I just remember, I just remember, the uh, comparison I I saw from a video that uh, explains this uh, this concept, but it doesn't explain it clearly. So I didn't know the actual process. So do you understand now? Yes. Good? So should should the should the PNN junction the same uh, materials so I was saying just now it can be a uh, why okay I, I was saying just now uh, why your your design is uh, why my design here the same material compared to you different material is better did you Tamana did you hear my explanation just now ma'am it's not very really clear 
you are not very clear okay the okay i will repeat uh, we can do for example if i draw uh, if i were to draw uh, iman's design uh, this is my design iman's design like this oh sorry to change to so iman's design will be like will look like this 2.4 uh, what one point what one point two eh one point two one point five one point two like that. right this is the man's design so what two point four one point two and then one point five so basically you, you still get this 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 like uh what do you call it uh this hole there but some somewhere to trap somewhere to trap the electron so the, you can still, when the electron diffuse, it will still be trapped here. But the trap is not, the number one, uh, the trap is not uh, symmetry. So is uh, the electron is easier to go back over here as compared to here because the, the what do you call it, the energy that you need to climb is higher. So no problem in terms of maybe it will work. So you have electron being, uh, Trap over here being collected, hole over here, then you have recombination. The only problem, the big, the the big, uh, the major problem is, um, the major problem is that uh, now we are dealing with three different materials. So we have uh, material A, B, and C. In my case, only two material, A, B, and A, right? So it means that when we, in the factory, we have to handle three different material and it's costly. Because one, to buy more uh, different type material. Another thing is when we buy different material, the, the tube and everything, we need to buy, uh, we need to have another tube. So it's costly to make uh, Iman's design compared to mine in, in terms of real life. If in terms of theoretical, it may, it may work. It work. It doesn't have, because the purpose is we, we make the sandwich here. Okay, heterojunction. The aim is to have the sandwich. But in real life, uh, we don't do that because we are we are using three different materials. So here in the my case over here, we only use two material and we 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 get the recombination. We we get the electron to be collected at the a low energy diagram material and it recombines that. So that increased the efficiency of an LED and similarly to laser. Yes, Iman. Um, Madam, the B junction doesn't have to be an intrinsic conduct, uh, semiconductor, right? I don't understand. Uh, the B junction does not, uh, does not necessarily have to be an intrinsic semiconductor, correct? Tamana, what's wrong with uh, Iman's question? Can you? In B junction, it's the B portion. Uh, no, no, it's uh, no, no, it's uh, the. Uh, sorry, it's the wrong question. The I junction, the B, the B junction, the B junction in your diagram. Uh -huh. The middle junction, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be an intrinsic oh, semiconductor, B, B, right? You yeah, B, B, not. Not P. Yes, in the. Yes. B, B. You are not become an Arab, right? P and B the same. So, so my B junction, <laughs> my B junction, what? Uh, it doesn't have to be a uh, intrinsic semiconductor. Yes, it doesn't have it, to be. It doesn't have to be. Uh, however, we if you make it uh, intrinsic, what happens is the B junction will be the B material will be inside the diffusion region. If it's it, you make the B intrinsic. So the B is will be in the in the uh, I region. So so it will be uh, uh, what do you call it? It will be is what do you call it? Uh, what's the word? It will increase the efficiency. So normally we'll make the B I region because otherwise you can try to draw this. Otherwise, if you draw the B in because B the the low uh, material uh, low energy band gap material. You have to choose either P, I, or N. If it's not I, then which one? P or N, right? If you because make it, uh, be, because huh? I'm assuming here, if the if the region in the middle is intrinsic, that means there's no light coming out of it. 
Why? Because um, it's uh, most intrinsic or group four is non-direct when yet. Okay, now you're confused about intrinsic and direct and indirect band gap material. I think you are confused. Uh, direct and band, uh, indirect band gap material can be extrinsic and can also be intrinsic. It's a two different. Okay. Uh, so for LED, we don't care and we don't really care about uh, uh, indirect, band, uh, indirect band gap material. Except for the one that Tamana was saying about the silicon laser, but for our kindergarten level or fourth year and master level, we 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 assume all the LEDs and lasers are using direct band gap material. So when you say direct band gap material, it can be intrinsic, it can be extrinsic. Intrinsic means it's just you don't dope it. Ah, yeah. Intrinsic means you dope it. Okay. I I was okay. confusing the two. All right, good. So I think we, we we can discuss more later on the LED side. But now let's watch Alam's uh, video, okay? On laser. Then we can have question answer on that. Let me... Alam is not here. Although Alam is not here, we watch lah. Have you watched his video? I was halfway through before the class started. Uh, I haven't watched. How many minutes was that? 27 minutes. Huh? 25 minutes actually. Yeah, Allah, I didn't really understand. I see only 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> but but it, I think it's really detailed. Um, you know, you can skip a few, I think. I do. Never mind. I will ask him to do it again. Uh... Does it? Uh, I mean, he can cut out the history. There's, I think, the working principles of laser. He uh, explained well. Uh, it beats the purpose because I'm supposed to mark. I cannot give the same. How I'm going to judge when I give Tamara only ten minutes and him twenty five minutes? Not fun. And you. Okay. Okay. So for for the purpose of understanding, yes, you can watch. I, I'm thinking of assessment. So I need to ask him to do it again. Okay, uh, we have 10 minutes. Huh? How, what time is it supposed to stop? One o'clock, right? One o'clock, yes. Hmm. So, Tamana, have you, you, you do on solar cell, right? Yes, ma'am. Can you present now? Oh, okay. All right, then. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes, you can start now. Okay, ma'am. So, I, uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, I'll start a solar cell. Uh, this is the layout. I'll skip this part straight I'm going to what a solar cell basically is. A solar cell, it's a photo, it, it is also called a photovoltaic cell. It is a device that will convert um, the energy from the sun into electrical energy. Oh, it is a different. Uh, uh, can we go out and come back? We only have less than 10 minutes. I worry that you will cut off in, in between your... your okay, ma'am. So I will give you another okay, minute. Let's go out first. Okay. 